Well, guys, uh, some of you have been helping me to sort out the failure that I've had with my new camshaft install. Um, had it running pretty good for maybe 40, 60 miles, something like that. And my first attempt to log and, and give it a wide open throttle stab, uh, there was a fatal failure, a massive failure. There was a pop, I was at 4370 RPM, and there was a pop, and it just quit, it just stopped. And um, first, my first check was to take a look and see if the timing belt was still on, and, and as you can see, the that looks good, the indicator's right in the marks. And when I opened up the head, took the valve cover off, I had all kinds of bits and pieces of smashed rockers, terrible. Um, looks like what would happen when you'd have a timing belt failure. So I started to pick all the parts and pieces out of the out of the head, and you can see there's all kinds of little bits and pieces there. So my plan was to take the valve cover off and set to top dead center, and then see what what happened, right? And I didn't turn the crank yet, but there's something obvious. I'm, I'm near top dead center, just a bit past. You can see from the cam gear. And so the first thing I took a look at was... Oh, damn. Let me see if I can get in there. The first thing I took a look at was the cam sprocket. And that thing is almost 180 degrees out of time. It's way off. The next thing I saw... The next thing I noticed, the exhaust cam, the notches are right where they're supposed to be for near top dead center, you know, with the, with the notches for the grooves for the head bolts. But the intake cam is spun completely off. It looks like the cam gear broke loose and just freewheeled. So, that sucks. <laughs> so, well, uh, I'll have to take it apart. I, I, I'm sure there are smashed uh, valves and valves whacked pistons. Uh, if one cam, the intake cam, is totally out of time.